Hi, this is Rochelle with Scrapcraft Tastic. I went to the Scrapbook Expo here in Orlando, Florida. And this was my first time going. If you're in my Facebook group, I did do a video, um, a little quick video in my Facebook group talking about how I felt about the Expo, but it was really nice. Um, and yeah, so I'm just going to go ahead and show you some of the things that I picked up at the Expo. I didn't buy a lot because the prices weren't as great as I was expecting them to be. But I did get, a, you know, a few little things. This bag was the bag that I got when, um, at registration. This was a, a shop that I stopped in. I think it was called the Islet Outlet. Yeah, it was. And I just picked up some little bits and pieces here and there in their little booth area. So they had some washi tape that I had not seen. I picked up this butterfly washi. I got this girl washi. I guess it's like vintage women on it. Let me set some of this stuff down so I can open it up and show you what it looks like. Oops. So it's all of these and then it repeats. So get all of these. And I think these would be nice um, little additions in junk journal projects or mini album projects. I don't really like putting washi tape on things like that, but because of the type of washi tape that it is, it could add a little um, adhesive to make sure it doesn't come up. So yeah, I got that one. make sure this is back on here the right way I got this floral washi again for the same reason these aren't the typical washies that I buy but I thought these were pretty nice and I got this washi I think it's like a Parisian theme of course oops upside down so it's like music. Well, I guess it's not really Parisian. It's just got those letters. So, but that's what it looks like. It's Parisian to me. And it does look like maybe the um the words to the songs are in French. I don't know. But anyway, I like this. The look of this washi. And from that same eyelet outlet, I got this washi. I used it in my monthly layout. If you follow me on Instagram, you'll have seen this already. Because I've already used it. This city washi. So that was all of the washi tape that I picked up. As if I needed more washi. But these are a lot different. These are real washi tape, I think. These are a lot different from the things that I get from Hobby Lobby, Joanne, and Michaels. So, then also while I was there, I picked up eyelets. And being that they were called the eyelet outlet, I would have imagined they would have had many more eyelets and options than they did. But they mostly had brats. But I did pick up some eyelets. I needed some more in my stash. I only got these larger ones. I should have gotten some smaller ones because I'm using more of the smaller ones lately. But I got all of these different colors because the price was right. And got these. These are blue. More silver. These are gray. I hadn't seen that before. These are like a red but not really a true red. I got some more gold and some light blue. So those are all the eyelets that I picked up. And then they also had these paper flowers. I guess to go along with the idea of all the brass that they have for 
sale and believe it or not I didn't buy any of the brads just these flowers so so I got those pink ones I got the white ones I got some teal blue looking ones and I got multiples of course so more pink quite a few white because I know I can dye these to the color that I want so I kind of stocked up on those then they had these enamel dots I don't really use these that much but I figured I would add some to my stash and maybe start trying to use them I have this idea for a card someone asked me to do Mother's Day and birthday cards and Mother's Day is right around the corner and I haven't done it yet I just been walking around with this idea in my head for one and I really hope it works out I'm gonna try and film it sometimes I just don't feel like talking <laughs> and but I don't want to do a voiceover I want you to experience me doing it as I do it I don't want to come back and talk about it but anyway somehow I'm gonna get that video done I have to get it done it's just on my mind but I did get these enamel dots this was the reason why I started picking through their enamel dots I saw these and like they'll be perfect for that idea that I have so I got two of those and they're like an um, iridescent look to the glitter on the inside of them I don't know if that's showing up on camera or not and then of course I got black and it has the glitter iridescent look in those as well then I got this color I don't know why I got this color I don't know what I was thinking at the time maybe just preparing for fall I don't know so none of that is anything that I would normally use and then I got the pastels again I don't know why I just I don't know <laughs> maybe I just got caught up but at least I only bought two things that I'm not sure why I bought them so moving on this is the only other shop that I purchased from or booth and really I just got some basic stuff which was I've seen this basics <laughs> speaking of basic that was not that pun was not intended but I've seen um, people use this basic I think uh, coupon to provide uses this tape so I wanted to give it a try it was two dollars I don't know if that's a good price or not um, so I don't know but I saw it and I'd never seen it anywhere before so I decided to grab it and try it I guess it's okay it's an okay price since I didn't have to order it online and pay for shipping so so I got two of those I got this that I have been needing for so long it's just one of those things that you need and you just never buy um, it's been in my shopping cart on Amazon forever this is a glue eraser we used these when I was in art school really just for rubber cement I think this will also work with glue like um, Fabri-Tac because it's like that rubbery glue and it'll help peel it right up hopefully that will work I got some real tweezers because the tweezers that I have aren't that great hopefully these are a little sturdier these were three dollars I think that's I think I overpaid for this stuff I really do I think I got had I don't know there's something to say for <laughs> being able to research stuff before you buy it I just didn't take the time to do it while I was there I got these two bamboo brushes I know they're called something else I just can't think of what it is right now um, they have that's a tip on that one and that's a tip on that one and they're used for artwork and brush lettering so I want to try those out those were fairly inexpensive I don't remember how much they were so then I got these 
Um, these are the Prima Planner stickers from from Prima, and it's two sheets each of these designs. And yeah, got that one, and I got this one. And this is what's included in this one. Okay. And other than that, all I got was this little spur of the moment purchase of these little um, charms. And I got the flowers, the shoes. hearts and the moon and star and these were fairly inexpensive as well so this is all that I actually purchased while I was there so if you have any questions let me know if you want to know what more information about the scrapbook expo um, you can go to scrapbookexpo.com and see if it's coming to a city near you. They do have workshops and crops and other little things that you can do. I didn't do any of that. I mainly went out there to check out the shopping. <laughs> so, yeah, it was nice. And I probably will go again. Okay, so now I have a little Michael's haul and just a little bit from Hobby Lobby. I went to Michael's specifically for this tube of washi. I've already opened it. I'm getting ready to do my Mother's Day week spread. But this tube of washi has that Parisian theme that I like. It's girly. Even though I'm not girly, I love girly washi. So this is what came in the tube. Um, so I have this floral, this thin washi with the hearts, then this one has the lashes, cheers, c'est la vie, and with these types of washi with the, they're color blocked I guess you would say, um, you can actually cut these and use them as stickers. So, then this one says so glam, fabulous. I'm perfectly, I think it says flawed. Yeah, flawed. So, there's that one. Then this one has the go foil lips and little um, speckles in the background with the lipstick. This one says, ooh la la, c'est la, la vie, peace, love, and lashes. And it probably just repeats. I love this one with the shades Oop. and the mint green background. This one's really cute. And then this one with the alcoholic beverages. And I know I said in a previous video that I don't like to use stickers with alcohol because I don't drink. But I don't know. This washi is really cute. So I might have to change my mind on that one because that one's really cute. And it, I don't know. I think washi versus stickers is a little different. This is a nice little floral eyelashes got gold foil mixed in there and then this one says ooh la la looking good wear lipstick and I have the paper pad that matches this and I also have the sticker book that goes with it so I'm going to go ahead and put these back but that is the one tube that I picked up and I probably used a 50% off coupon either from Joanne or Michaels I don't remember right off the top of my head what I used but yeah there's that one and I'm keeping these out as options for my spread that I'm getting ready to work on then I went to Hobby Lobby and I went there specifically to buy Prima paper. So I found this lavender 
paper pad and I'm not a big fan of purples and lavenders and it's really weird because I used to really that used to be my color purple purple everything but for some reason now I just I don't know I don't like it anymore <laughs> I guess uh, I got into pink when my oldest daughter was born and I just never looked back so and I think she likes purple but it's not my thing but anyway these are very soft purples they're like more on the pink side really so but this is what the paper pad looks like I have to turn it this way so let's start here you got a nice floral and you get one two three four of each four five of each um, sheet so that's the back that's the front this is the back of this one and that's the other side then this one it looks like a overhead of a city of city streets looks like then this other side is butterflies and it looks like these could be cut apart as well. Then you got that pattern. Then this ledger paper. See, it's not really purple, so or lavenders. I mean, that is, but it's not over the top. And then this is what the other side looks like. And I'm sure you've probably seen this paper before. So this is nice this is the other side of that one and that's it that's the only thing about Prima so it's six double-sided designs and five sheets each you don't get a whole lot of variety but the paper is good quality and the fact that it's double-sided is great because <laughs> double-sided paper is hard to come by I also got Amelia Rose and this is an 8 by 8 uh, paper pad with eight double-sided designs four sheets each I want this in 12 by 12 I'm not even sure if it comes in 12 by 12 I'm pretty sure it does but Hobby Lobby doesn't have it and they couldn't find it in their system to order it for me but I will try again but this is what it looks like it's kind of more abstract I think This page is worth the whole paper pad, that pattern is floral. This is nice too. So that's that it for that one. Then I got Cherry Blossom 8x8. Again, I would prefer 12x12 paper, but this is what they had. And I like this one because it's just soft pinks. So I got that one. Then lastly, I got this 8.5 by 11 Love Story. This one has six double sided with five sheets each. And this is 8.5 by 11. That's pretty. Okay, so that is all the Prima paper that they had at the time. Um, hopefully I can get this one in the larger size but I really kind of want to stock up on double sided paper because I 
have several projects in mind but anyway that's everything that I got from Hobby Lobby that's it for my Wednesday's haul if you have any questions or comments please leave them below thanks for watching and I'll talk to you later bye